Thank you. Next up, we bring up Steven Robinson. He's known as the New York Psychic. Come on up, Steven. Everybody give him a hand. Psychic number four. Hi, Steven. Hey. Thank you very much. How are you much. doing, John? Nice to see you again. I'm doing great. How great. are you doing? Enjoying this lovely audience. Yes, we are having a lot here. of fun. So thank you so much for being here to celebrate yeah. seven years with Congratulations. us. Congratulations. Thank great. you. And what do you do? Tell us a little bit about your ability, because you are known as the New York Psychic. Yes, the New York Psychic. And you're one of the top <laughs> ten psychics in the entire state of New York, right? Yes. Wow. <laughs> and on top of that, guys, <laughs> on top of that, he's done readings for famous people, right? Can we say a few names? Um, Hugh Jackman and his Hugh wife. Hugh Jackman. Donna Karen. And the and list goes on and on, right? On that, yes. So, yes, well, thank you very much. We're going to get to a couple readings if we can get. Okay. Stand on up. Hello, what's your name? Misty. Okay, do you have a question? Um, yeah. I wanted to know um, uh, if I'm going to make it in the nursing field that I'm, I'm going into now. Yes, but I get two. And I feel like I'm at the end of the nursing program with you, and I feel like there's some type of test. I don't know whether, I, I think nurses train with, like they take a practicum kind of a test and then a written test, but I see two with the practical part of it. Are you there yet? Mm -mm, I didn't start yet. Okay, well, <laughs> I would just say that, you know, really study hard for the first time. Um, I don't feel like you're going to pass it, just to be honest with you, but you will pass it the second time, and you'll get a gold star, and you'll be fine. So don't stop after the first yeah, time. Yeah, don't get discouraged. It, re it really will work for you. Okay, but yeah. am I going to have some kind of money coming in from somewhere? <laughs> oh, I see. You're going into nursing for the money. <laughs> I think it's always the best reason <laughs> to go <laughs> in. <laughs> I, I think you're going to do really well, and I actually see you getting a nursing job out of this area. I'm not mm. sure if you live in the Capital District area, but I feel like it's outside of this area somewhere. Okay. I'm, I'm feeling like you're going more toward Massachusetts, um, more toward like um, Worcester or um, the eastern part of Massachusetts, Boston, or maybe one of the smaller towns or cities mm -hmm. in that area. You're going to get a really good job, and it will pay you more than any of the other jobs that you apply for. Oh, that's excellent. Yeah. That's good Remember who right told there. you, okay? Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> good luck to you. Good luck. Yeah. Hi, Hello. what's your name? I'm Danny Gwartva. Okay, Danny, what would you like you to ask Stephen Robinson? Well, I'm wondering if I'm going to meet anyone and when my life is going to actually start to unfold. Hmm, common question. <laughs> Am I going to meet anyone? Well, yes, you're going to meet somebody. <laughs> I meant like a soulmate, a partner, et cetera. Yep. Um, Danny, I'm seeing the heat of the summer, like August um, and September, and this I year? see you at this year. And I see you at what looks to me like a birthday party. I see a cake with candles on it. And well, there's um, a lot of birthday party. And that's very soon, this yeah. summer. Yeah, it's uh, either in late July up to about Labor Day. So it's like technically the summertime period. So it's gonna be August, September, right. somewhere around that time period. And I see a birthday with that. Permanent You're at a birthday party and I see you meeting someone there. Permanent? That's um, the love of his life. Well, technically, there's no such thing as a permanent relationship, but I think it's going to be a long-term relationship. Oh, so that's some yeah. good news. All and right, this person has lighter hair than you have. Lighter? Okay. Yeah. When in fact, I can see something like it's like striped. It has, has like highlights in it, I feel. Highlights. Okay. Well, we'll look for that. Yeah, and when will my life unfold, like good job and stuff like that? Ma, you want a life reading, don't you? No, I want a job. I don't mind what Your kind of job. Your entire life, yes. I don't mind what kind of job. Like, will I get a job soon? I, I see you doing something that I, I want to use the word technical with, with your work, technical. like a technician of some type. I have no idea what this is, but I feel like it's a technician. This is what I'm being given. Technician. Um, there's also a grandfather around you. He's just standing here to my left, mm -hmm. um, and I get a feeling like he goes to your father's side of the family. So this is either your paternal grandfather or it's your father's grandfather. It feels like either a grandfather or a great grandfather. Right, and he feels like he's a real real strong spirit influence around you. I see you having dreams about him and it looks like you just had one recently. Do you, you remember, remember your dreams? I remember my dreams. They're very lifelike. Good. Lucid <laughs> dreaming. Good. Yeah. Research shows we have between four and six dreams every night in an eight hour period. 
So How many of those do we actually remember? This may be one that he doesn't remember, possibly. It's possible, but I feel so strongly with this that it's, either, it's even going to break through your memory barrier so that you'll know. Okay, okay thank you very much. Oh, we did those okay. quick, so we'll take one more for Stephen. Hi, everybody. Over I here. saw somebody over here that was getting my attention. Was it you? Yes. <laughs> you had the happiest face I've seen. Hello. I didn't miss you. What's your name? I like happy Biani. people. Hi. What's your name again? Biani. Biani. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? Which question? Um, I've been dating somebody for the past six and a half years, so my. I just want to know where do you see that going, that it's going to go anywhere, hmm. or it's just there. Do you feel comfortable giving me just the first name of this person? Oh, Eugene? There's a woman on the other side who comes here for him. It's someone that he loved very much. It feels like a mother or a grandmother. It's someone who helped to raise him. And she is telling me that she's helping you to get him ready for what you want. Okay? Now, grandma's I up in your business, huh? It doesn't take a s <laughs> It doesn't take a psychic to figure out what you want based on your question. But I feel like she's really on your side. She's rooting for you because she feels like you're one of the best things, if not the best thing that ever happened to him. And I feel like you need to remind him of that a, a little bit without being argumentative or, you know, overly aggressive about it in, in nice ways. I also feel like you're giving him a gift. And I'm not sure why that is. There's some special occasion coming up, whether it's uh, a, a real anniversary or it's just an anniversary of something that you shared together or did um, together? It was his birthday in February and I have bought him a gift and I haven't given it to him. It's okay, well I see home. a picnic table and I see you in a park somewhere and I feel like he's sitting on one end of the table and you're sitting on the other side and you're handing him that gift. When you get to that picnic table or if there's a place where you're going where there's a picnic table, that's the opportune time and she'll be with you to help you to give it to him and he's going to have a very positive response. Okay. Wow, that's some good news yeah. right there. Thank you know you what else you much. could do for him? I'm going to say one more word. She's telling me that you can give him a back rub. That will make him very happy. A back rub. Okay. <laughs> that's kind of frisky. I don't know. That's what she said. Back rub. <laughs> Who knew? Well, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you very much, thank Stephen. Thank you, John, everybody for having once me. Congratulations. Again. Thank you so thank much. You. Stephen Robinson, everybody. We will be right back. We still have three more psychics to go, so don't change that dial. Be right back. <laughs>